Welcome to Sunrise Valley and Western Railroad. As our first time that we're seeing this for a wildlife, if you're going on a trip for this a little bit or going some wild like a freight work, you might head us that we're gonna get down into some kind of an other side of the hill or mountains, whatever it is. If you might go somewhere that should lead to Camp Everfree, that was absolutely we're gonna be doing for a little bit up time for this one. As we get to see a little bit first, it loads out for a, a long distance forever, for it says not for whatsoever as we're gonna be doing for a little bit for the first time. As you can see onto this board, it takes for some kind of a few more loads to go, as we're gonna be doing for a such as first, as we're gonna be doing for a start against our journey. So if we're gonna be waiting for a few more loads, and a lot of loads, and we don't absolutely, the game was absolutely not crashed at all, but looks like it take where summer for over 60 seconds, and this is absolutely we have here. This is the Sunrise Valley and Western Railroad. As you can see inside of the map, this is for the Bedrock Hump Yard, and this is absolutely the Bedrock Union Station, this is the East and the West, Bloxburg, Jameson, Rotten, Wood, Trony, and Summerin Point Yard, which is gonna be the other side of the mountain before we head on to this one. Queen Street Yard, and that must be the Woodland Arrow over here for this one. And it looks like, and absolutely we have for the map for today, as we turn on for the locations, and this is absolutely we have something for a little bit. This is the Bedrock City. And Bedrock City Station, Summit Point, and Woodland, and Jamestown. And looks like we cannot able to hide players. Let us go ahead. As this is for the Summer Valley and Western. So this is absolutely we're going to be doing for a moving for a little bit for a big industry for a little bit. The car limit is the longest sliding yard you have leave form. And absolutely we're going to be doing. We have tons of wheels. And exactly for a communicate, we have to start for our rules first. And the first rule is no car hogging. And another one, uh, the second rule is no power move running engine light. Unless you are going to a big industry to pick up cars from there is no power in the yard. The car limit is the longest sliding of the yard you leave from. Locomotive constants limits are as follows. Diesels 2 out of 3, steam 2 times max. Speed limits are as always follows, only one for just a little bit of time for just a top speed. Yards 35 to 50, coupling 5 to 10, barges 20 to 35. There will be speed signs, if you adjust your speed acknowledge, follow all the signs as they are absolute automatic signs, permanent if, if they do work. Please communicate with the other operators if you are sharing for the same selection of the track or layout to prevent collisions as a further prediction. There is no right hand only running, the layout most likely double tracked and there should crossovers as the end start of every single back. And if you have leave your park, park your train and yard, or if you're in the main line, make sure you're not blocking a switch or other players will have them work around you. And that's all the rules that you might be able to get kicked out for something a little bit. Now, to use the trains, I just know how to use a DCC controller we have there for today. But before we're gonna be taking around for driving around trains, we'll be having for our next video for our next time. So as you can see, if before we're gonna be doing this, let's take a tour with our this first. As absolutely we're gonna be doing this for our very first time, going around inside of this biggest subdivision, whatever it is. This is the one of the world's biggest subdivision you've never seen. The biggest subdivision is absolutely in kind of a little bit terminated for something like else. Now, what else that we have for today in this content situation? As we look on to our biggest things that should lead to Camp Everfree for our long, very long distance. As we start here for today, as we're gonna be doing for this out, starting with our rival yard, with some kind of box cars and all the freight cars we have there, anything as well. We have steam engines available and diesel locomotives. 
And as we absolutely having for this one to get a little bit for these ones. Alco RS ones and the SD sevens as well. Or GP7. Looks like we absolutely have for this for Gonda boxes as well. You have to go for somewhere. But another freight yard we have absolutely having saw. Some box cars and other kinds of freight cars as well. And a lot of things must be the longest requires for steams or diesels. We have absolutely having a lot of these things as well. Moving on into another section. This is absolutely we're gonna be hump yard guide. As well, we're gonna be doing a little bit once, and because I have exact uh, uh, the dispatch as well, so I might be able to get lose my mind already. And looks like we're entering inside of this one. This is absolutely kind of just a little bit great. Now we're gonna be moving inside of this station about this one. This is the Bedrock City Station, and most of all, we got some other passengers. And other Pennsylvania passengers as well. This is the Sunrise Valley Valley Road. As we're going to be doing a little bit for a Sunrise Valley and Western Railroad for this time. And you probably think from outside for this one. It was absolutely kind of just enormous. It's kind of full of diesel locomotives and electric locomotives as well. And there must be steam engines available for today. As we're going to be doing for another one. The Western Bedrock City JCT for interlocking about this one and looks like we're gonna be doing for otherwise that should might enter going around the city this is the city of some kind of a crunchy city looks like this is the bridge we're going on and that is the cruise ship that it should might be able to go on for this one heading on long for this one as we're heading on to another bridge and this is the power plant of seeing some kind of uh, power for electricity and I just fall off that should be gonna be ruined as well well, not continue for this out for just a little bit. It's kind of just a very dangerous for a long situation. Alongside, we cannot able to get this a little bit further. A little bit for getting onto this way. And this is, we absolutely never found. This is the station for over here. This is Bloxworth. This is the Bloxworth around for a little bit for other sides. And some kind of other things like it. So, whatever we doing, whatever it is. There is another town. Over here, some kind of passing to out for this one, and came back into this one. As you can see, around for this one, to get all the way into another yard, we have here for a little bit for the emergency. There must be another one, another freight yard as well. This is Jamestown Yard, and which is absolutely we're going to be doing for interlocking, for save some things like this one. As this is the C ferry corner, this is the C line. And which should might heading for us towards into the Tower of Frozen Waves. Now absolutely we're inside of another one for Rustian Station and another yard as well. As we're gonna be putting our way for ourselves into another itself for this one. And another one is Bloomington is Bloomington as we're gonna be doing for a little bit wait. I'm sorry that it's just never gonna be speaking throughout its loud. W Bloomington as well, another one. And because of this one, some other location marks we have found for today. That is the Woodland Yard, with other steam engines available and diesel engines available for this one. And another one is Woodland Station, which is absolutely we gotta be here for just a little bit. Kind of a little bit of tunnel loop, we're entering out for the Everfree Forest. But absolutely, that wasn't an Everfree Forest like this one. This is an absolutely that one thing. But overall inside kind of a forest, which is absolutely we're inside of a Silver Lake logging yard mill as well as we're gonna get around here. Another yard as well. As we keep on going, we move on to another cells station. Now this is the electrical lines as we pushing a little bit far as more things around to this station. Cream Scent Station is over here for itself. And another one must be another location won't be absolutely necessary at all so this is the last stop of land the uh, wait a second is there some kind of location is must be the locations founded yet that should lead back into for some kind of rockport station as well this is the bedrock city 
And this is absolutely, this is when you went back into Bedrock City as well. Probably not sure that this is some kind of a little bit of joke. And another one, it must be another yard. But in Fuelly, that we're gonna be getting so much more that we never see. Since I crossed the tunnel amongst the biggest brain, I don't think we're absolutely finding out for just a little bit. I don't really think in my mind. That is the right honey as well. We putting ourselves into outer things as well. Another station must be the ends. The Pottsylvania as we're back into putting ourselves for this one. That is the E summit for no case for this one. This is the game pass spawn. But looks like, but he only wanted to do this like I never said. This is some kind of just a little bit of passenger coaches and one steam locomotive ahead. Now, absolutely, we're going to be getting inside of this way. Before I can make it out straight, we absolutely going to be heading out for this fast. Before we end up this video, we need to get a little bit straight about further we do. The Troy Station is absolutely really here for this time. And absolutely, we enter the Everfree Forest. Was absolutely kind of not existed at any time for just a little bit. But not pretend for this is some kind of Everfree Forest. If you move up for this only one time, this shall head up for it once again. That is should might be able to zoom out. And the camera mode is absolutely not gonna be pretty intense, like it's really good. This is the summit point yard and the summit point station as well. And that must be some kind of just a little bit far. And that is some kind of diesel, electric, and steam locomotives. And it was absolutely available down here but before as we're gonna be ending for about this video I'm not sure that we leave a like on this game but absolutely this is absolutely when to remember to face the legend of Everfree before as we're gonna be doing to end up this video for a little bit as you can never see about this like this as you can see the camera mode is available for now by using some kind of drones for Forza Horizon 3 Looks like it's gonna be pretty good for something like else, and I can see the Roblox train anyway. So, if you like for today's video for this time, as we're speaking to the end of this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and click that bell. Thanks for watching under the situation about this one, as we're gonna be continuing for a more and more row scale videos to come. So, thanks for watching, and this is Trevor Concept signing off, and I'll talk to you guys into our next video in row scale for our summer for this time coming in this summer that will drive for the trains for our very first time.